Hey guys, me, Tommy92L here, doing a little bit of a commentary for Scope Episode 2. You're about to hear everything I thought about this episode, prepare to cover your ears. Right here was a shatter effect in Adobe After Effects and the camera movement done completely backwards. Everything was done backwards because I had to make it come together. Uh, getting bad, terrible name, uh, terrible transition. Uh, this... I hated the voices here, because the voice actor, you know, who is helping me, shit, I gotta turn on my volume, I told him, I'm like, dude, you gotta talk louder, you can't amplify the volume, like, you have to, you know, talk louder, because if you don't, it's gonna sound bad. He didn't listen to me, of course, and now what it sounds like is that, shh, anytime he talks, and it got me really annoyed. Uh, with this... I don't know why I love snow, and I really thought that this scene looked awesome with all the snow pouring down and whatnot. Uh, it's not much different from Scope Episode 1, but I always thought snow looked cool, you know what I mean? If I'd rather have a crazy-ass battle, it'd be in the snow, definitely. Uh, this, if you look, the camera jolts here. What that was, was someone was on my computer, and where I was capturing had problems. Like, there there was too many captured file, files in one folder, and it, you know, it just kept jumping around. Uh, this is where the drop pod was, that he crashed. Um, I had to make that set. Like, I didn't make this level. I'm not taking credit for it, but yes, I did make the set with all the, uh, the drop pods, the explosions, and the fire and stuff. And it was actually really fun to make, because it was like, alright, this is where I want the scene to take place. And I wasn't working around someone else's level. Uh, if you notice that sky, I actually, when I modded, I did two of them. And one was actually a white sky, because I, I wanted to make it look like there was actually day and night. Because if you go to sleep in the night, you're not going to wake up in the night again. No, you're going to wake up in the day. Uh, oh, I didn't like my voice here. Listen. Oh, skippity doodah! Let's go, guys! Yeah! I just sounded like such a loser. Uh, I did like the, um, whatchamacallit, Re Ugh. Resident Evil music here which was cool. The driving scene, I will admit, looked bad. If you look back really far in the background, you'll notice that the cars aren't even moving straight at first. They're going around in circles. If you rewind, you'll see. Uh, driving is really hard to do since I was controlling it from a fly cam. Oh, also, I told you about the fly cam, you know, skipping. Look how bad it skips here. Now. 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 Uh... This scene I didn't particularly like. It took about three hours to do. Not no, not the cars driving up, but everything shooting and stuff. Because if if anything could go wrong, it did go wrong. And I mean anything from the cars disappearing, weird, crazy glitches where we couldn't get in the cars, the AI not moving, I swear it was absolutely horrendous to do. And I, I don't know. Next time I gotta plan my stuff out better because this was bad. And this is AI right here too. No, not actors. That's one benefit the Halo Custom Edition. You can use actors and you don't need, you know, anything else. Uh, here we go. And I'm mainly doing this commentary because most people always wonder how I do stuff and so on. And I just thought you'd maybe find this interesting. Uh, usually my camera shakes look better. They look bad there. The turret was a bit obsolete. Because he couldn't actually even fire over the edge in reality, so that's why I didn't have him shoot. The, what I did here was I had a mod on, and I threw two grenades, and I hit K, and that would freeze time. And then I positioned the camera to where I want, I hit L, and that would unfreeze time. So I could throw literally about 200 grenades under the car, and then unfreeze it, so they'd all go off at once. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, there's this guy out there called D Hunter who keeps taking my editing jobs for something else, and he thinks he's better than me. So go to YouTube and type in D Hunter, and oh, guys, he's so much better than me.